That's it, didn't peep before. Hello YouTubers. Uh, I've just been prompted by uh, a video I've just seen, I think the last one that Pep Mastrello did about, you know, the new, uh, what was it, iPod? Or phone? Um, I'm very up with it, as you can see. Um, <coughs> I said, like, gadgets, you know, and there are too many on the market now. And, you know, especially the way recession is at the moment and there's people going to be out of jobs and already started. All these gadgets, why don't they just keep all the other gadgets and inventions like that that have ever been done? What I mean is, why don't they just keep making records, cassettes, CDs, SDs and all the future ones, but keep all the ones that I've just mentioned like you know, I like still make cassettes, cassette players, record players. That way, surely there'll be more people still in jobs. You know, um, God knows it would quadruple how many people could still be in jobs. Um, there's no need to throw them out. I mean, if you go in a shop, say a record shop, and you just want to buy the Killers or Cliff Richard or Elvis Presley, say they just do Elvis Presley. Right? They they said I was crazy about it. They don't throw every other artist CDs and records and uh, DVDs out the shop and only sell Elvis Presley. They'd soon go under, wouldn't they? They'd soon go under. Like Zavi already is and a few of the others because of reception. No, they don't do that. They keep all the other artists and DVDs in the shop because they sell more. More of a market. So why? When one comes out like CDs, do they knock cassettes and record players over here and stop making them? Most people still like records and cassettes and DVDs and CDs. I still prefer cassettes. Alright? So why don't they do that? It's more variety. So more people are going to buy that stuff still. So they should still make it. Why don't they still make it? Why don't they keep analog stuff as well as digital? In this country, England, I think it's in 2012, they're going to shut off the analogue signal to TVs. Why? Why not keep both? They've still got black and white TV signals as well as colour. Why do they have to turn it off? And they say we want everybody on digital. Why? I suppose it's the government say, um, oh, we'd like everybody digital, because it's this, because it's that, they get more channels. What do they care how many channels we watch? It's obviously done for money, politics and all the rest of the rubbish that's in with it. I mean, as if they care what we watch, what we play, records, CDs, cassettes, or anything else that's going to be invented in the future. It's pointless. Who wants all them channels anyway? It's bad enough with about five ordinary ones. It's, rub it's all rubbish anyway. They just repeat stuff. Why well, put stuff on, on these other channels, like the Sweeney from, what was it, 70s, 60s? You know, Minder, um... Old, really old TV shows when you can buy them all on DVD and video. I mean, what's the point of having repeat channels? You know, if you like sports, I can understand that. I don't like sports. Balls yell at me. But that's just my personal opinion. That and rotten game shows. But I mean, you know, it's, why it would keep the market more open? You know, that's just my little rant. I just thought I would, I would sort of. Do that. And Jerry Hatchet 1927, that was a brilliant video you made of Winnie, who was 101 years old, in the, the Zimmers, who died on New Year's Day. Well done, Peter. So, this is me, over and out, without a doubt. Catch you all later. Bye for now.